Hello world, it's 7.30 in the morning, it's the 30th of July 2014. I'm kind of looking at the sky at the moment and I'm thinking, wow, compared to a month ago, there's nothing going on, it's quiet. Now I don't wish to appear to be tempting Providence, but it does seem that over the coming few days, there's not going to be a great deal going on, which may be why months and months and months ago i put in this next three days is a time for me to run away and do some writing and that's what i'm about to do as soon as i finish this video i'm running away to the welsh borders and i'm going to go and write another few thousand words on pluto pluto seems to be not consuming but um influencing my life at the moment so you're going to be getting a lot on pluto in the coming week or so that's because i'm nearly at the end i've written fifty thousand words i've written Pluto in the signs and Pluto in the houses. I've written Pluto by aspect. I've written about the discovery of Pluto, the naming of Pluto, the astronomy of Pluto. But now I'm trying to define how Pluto is to be used as a viable astrological tool in the 21st century. I'm trying to set uh, suggestions, not so much boundaries, but suggestions and ideas for new ways of looking at this notion of the unconscious, the subconscious, the transpersonal, the subliminal and the psychological, and to bring it into not so much conscious daily use because you cannot bring Pluto into the light. Pluto is Hades, Pluto is the dark, he is the occult, the occulted, that which is hidden from view. And every time you try and think about Pluto, you use the mind and the consciousness, and Pluto, of course, is the unconscious and the subconscious. So there is no rationality. Pluto deals with one's innermost primordial urges, whether it be sex, death, food, breathing, sleep, taxes, <laughs> Pluto. Um, and it's really now, thank you so much, folks, for that feedback yesterday on Pluto. That was way unexpected and it was brilliant and the more the merrier. Because I think, I'm beginning to really think now, now I've realised that Pluto itself is not a planet as we've understood planets to be so far. It is actually ten times smaller, a hundred times smaller than we thought Admittedly, six months' time, we're going to start getting some really good photos of Pluto, its uh, dwarf moon systems, and uh, the, the environment around it, once the New Horizons probe is, is fully out there, and it's only a few months away now. But um, until then, we're still speculating. And it seems that a lot of people now are being drawn more and more to delve into their own personal underworld, to go into their own depths. And to see what they can come back with. You can't bring the unconscious back out. You can't find answers in your own depths and then bring them back into the world. Despite a number of different holistic practitioners or shamanistic theoreticians saying you can. You can't. What you can do is you can go into those depths and you can experience through dream. Through some type of almost, well in your unconscious, some type of trip where you're not acting in your normal rational logical way where you're going much more on feel and intuition and sense and during that time you can you can evolve and experience sensations which are indefinable in terms of logic and rationality so but when you come back to the real world when you open your eyes of course you can't explain what's been going on because it's a different construct which you're using when you're living in what seems to be the real world but I suggest that more and more, as humanity is becoming less and less scared of going into its own unconscious and subconscious, we're realising that the different levels of perception are just that, different. Not better, not worse. And that one level of perception, one person's world, is exactly as valid as someone else's. Not better, not worse, just different. Like I've said so many times, one planet, seven, di different, seven billion different worlds. And it seems that as we get closer and closer to discovering the Hadean depths of Pluto, so we're being encouraged to really explore our own unconscious and subconscious, not be fearful of it, and come back out of it with a renewed sense of emotional, intuitive and psychological self-empowerment. 
because without these things, I don't think the human race will be one. Because these, if these things aren't part of our future, it's not going to be a very good future. More on Pluto, I'm sure, over the coming few days. Thanks. Bye.